Recording in progress. Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pastor Emeritus of Covenant of Grace Ministries, Reverend Ron L. Spratley. We have a prophetic soundbite for you today. We're going to continue in our series of taking dominion through spiritual and natural laws of leverage. But today we want to talk about why do we need biblical law? Why do we need biblical law? Very, very important subject. And in the times, these end times we're in, for us as believers to have ourselves prepared, we need to understand biblical law, okay? Our scripture for today is going to be Matthew 5 and 17. It says, think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. I am come not to destroy, but to fulfill. I have not come to destroy, but Jesus came to fulfill the law. As we talk about the law and the prophets, you know the Old Testament prophets brought the law. So why do we need biblical law? The world operates off a basic set of laws, all right? This basic set of laws that we've talked about you have the law of spirit of life in Christ, which went into effect when Christ redeemed us. We have the law of sin and death. These are the two basic laws that the world operates off of, okay? Law is a principle that always remains the same once the conditions and requirements of the principle are met. So it works the same. It's very predictable. You know the outcome, all right? If I were to take a paper towel and continue to just drop it over and over again, I know the outcome because of the law of gravity. The paper towel is going to go to the ground every time I drop it. That's the law of gravity, all right? So it works the same. If conditions and requirements are met. So once we learn these biblical laws, they're going to work for us. That's why I preached about putting biblical laws to work for you. All right. Laws can only be proven. They cannot be changed. Okay. Laws can only be what superseded by greater laws. When I talked about Romans 8 and 2, when it says, the law of spirit of life in Christ has set me free from the law of sin and death. We saw the law of spirit of life in Christ supersedes the law of sin and death. That's why this teaching is so important, all right? All things exist and are governed by laws. Everything is governed by law. We need to get that in our spirit. We want the law working for us, not against us. The law of spirit of life in Christ works for us. The law of sin and death works against us. All things exist and are governed by law. Law produce and establish order and culture. It governs and it regulates behavior. Very, very important. We talked about external law, internal law. We talked about internal law being superior or superseding external law because the internal law is written in our minds and in our spirit. All right? Order is the evidence of the what existence of Yahweh. God is not a God of chaos. All right? He's a God of order. Okay, number six, chaos, right? You see this is the absence of Yahweh and law and order. When you see chaos, God's not there, right? Number seven, biblical laws are predictable. Very, very important one here. Biblical laws are predictable. 
You need predictability in a world that's filled with uncertainty. You need predictability. Biblical laws are needed to prevent antisocial and unacceptable behavior. Biblical laws are needed to regulate commercial and business transactions, weights and measures, scale, to regulate commerce and business act transactions. Number 10, to identify who should rightfully own property. The law does that for us, to provide a means of, for citizens to resolve disputes, to regulate family and personal relationships. So I hope these things help you see how important biblical laws are. All law originated from the Old Testament. And I'm talking about biblical law. That's the foundation, all right? Not man-made, but biblical laws. You came here for the truth. I've unveiled that for you. May God bless you and keep you till we have the opportunity to bring you another word. God bless you.